Welcome to Daily Bible Benefits. Today is Tuesday, September 6th. On this day in 1915, a prototype tank nicknamed Little Willie rolls off the assembly line in England. Little Willie was far from an overnight success. It weighed 14 tons and got stuck in trenches and crawled over rough terrain at only 2 miles per hour. However, improvements were made to the original prototype and tanks eventually transformed military battlefields. Today on the broadcast, I'll be talking about Peter Speaks in Solomon's Porch, Acts chapter 3, verses 11 through 26. And as the lame man which was healed held Peter and John, and all the people ran together unto them in the porch that is called Solomon's greatly wandering. And when Peter saw it, he answered unto the people, Ye, ye men of Israel, why marvel ye at this? And why look ye so earnestly on us, as though by our own power or holiness we had made this man to walk? The God of Abraham and Isaac and of Jacob, the God of our fathers, hath glorified his son Jesus, whom ye delivered up and denied him in the presence of Pilate, when he was determined to let him go. But ye denied the Holy One, and the just, and desired a murder to be granted unto you, and kill the prince of life, whom God had raised from the dead, whereof we are witnesses. And his name, through faith in his name, hath made this man strong, whom ye see and know, yea, the father, the faith which is by him hath given him this perfect soundness in the presence of you all. And now, brethren, I wrought that through ignorance ye did it, as did also your rulers. But those things which God before had showed by the mouth of all his prophets, that Christ should suffer, he has so fulfilled. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive unto the times of restitution, of all things which God has spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. For Moses truly said unto the fathers, A prophet shall the Lord your God raise up unto you of your brethren like unto me. Him shall ye hear in all things, whatsoever he shall say unto you, and it shall come to pass that every soul which will not hear that prophet shall be destroyed from among the people. Yea, and all the prophets from Samuel and those that follow after, as many as have spoken, have likewise foretold of the, these days. Ye are the children of the prophets and of the covenant, which God made with our fathers, saying unto Abraham, And in thy seed shall all the kindreds of the earth be blessed. Unto you first God had raised up his son Jesus, send him to bless you, and turning away every one of you from his iniquities. Practical help. A traveler passing by and seeing a man falling into a deep pit began to wonder aloud how he fell in. The poor man in his utter misery shouted, If you are a friend, stop asking how I fell in, but help me out. The Lord Jesus Christ wants to impart his life to us. We may in our foolishness want a full explanation from him as to why he permitted us to fall in the first place, but tell us that the most important and urgent thing is our salvation from sin and death. Thank you for tuning in to Daily Bible Benefits. Have a good and godly day.